All right, we got a fire extinguisher here. Do you have your phone on you? Uh, yeah, you might want it just in case we have to call emergency services or something. That's not a joke. Welcome to the full power tests of the sledgehammer. The MGM ESC is sitting nicely on steel and aluminum plates in the trunk. Let me back this up. Yes, that is in fact the trunk. The battery packs are back there. There's a control box, but really all it's doing is uh, powering it up through a resistor at first to charge the capacitor banks, and then it's going to uh, click over to full power. Since we've had so many problems with long cables, I decided to use the actual cables we're going to use in the car. So towards that end, check out these beasts. So this is right here. These are the uh, motor cables. This is the sensor cable. Motor cables are 18 and a half feet long. There's our little test bed right there. Sensor cables connected. I've already spun it up, had no issues spinning up. What we don't know is what's gonna happen when it starts going into a uh, relatively high speed. This is gonna be the first high speed test. There's a one inch restrictor in the discharge, so it's gonna see some RPM. We're probably gonna go to about 50% on the servo tester, assuming everything's okay. And then we'll check the data and then we'll go and do a try to get to full throttle. Hopefully there won't be any issues. Let's give it a shot. Power on. All right, it told me it's happy. Let's spin it up. Held up just fine. That was about 50% throttle. Let's pull the data and then we'll try going full throttle. All right, we saw the data there. We're going to try to hit high speed max throttle. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Wish me luck. That's the way it should work. Drama free, no problems, no issues. Terrifying as that test was, and we set all kinds of new records with that one. It was done at zero degrees motor timing. The motor's power is rated at 15 degrees, so I changed it to 15 degrees. So we're gonna see if we can break 38,000 impeller RPM, which is, by the way, already far and away a record, but let's give it a shot. All right, Eric, you ready? You probably wanna take somewhat cover. All right, let's do it. No problems, no complaints. That's the way things should work. By the way, let's see if motor's not even warm, man. ESC heatsink, probably not even warm. It's actually kind of chilly in here. It was a cold day. Nah, it's cold. All right, we've taken the restrictor out. This is fully open, unrestricted, which means it's going to go into choke, which is going to be maximum load. There's going to be a lot of power going through here. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to do uh, approximately half power, and if all goes well, we'll go to full power. All right, here we go. Once again, wish me luck. <laughs> it got a little loud. All right, here we go. Final test. Shoving it into choke at wide open throttle. One final prayer. Here we go. My ears are ringing from that one. So there you go, it just works. I know those were relatively short tests, but if it was gonna blow up, it was gonna do it on that initial acceleration. And we held it for a second or two on each test just to let things stabilize and you could see the power levels. Besides which, it's a bit like unleashing the wrath of hell in the small garage that I've got because it's about the same as running 12 of the most powerful backpack leaf blowers you can buy at wide open throttle all at the same time. We saw what, 44 horsepower, we saw over 30 kilowatts. To give you a sense of perspective, when we did the first drag test, we saw under 14 kilowatts and we made 650 horsepower. So this is looking really promising. All I've got to do now is install the thing in the car uh, make sure all the circuitry works as a test, and then we're putting it on the dyno. 
So if you like this sort of thing, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and you know, we're gonna have a lot more fun. So I will catch you all on the next one.